What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. In the last episode, we completed the side quest Trading Places, and we also explored the bottom part of the Crow's Jet Echoes. We're not done yet, though. We still have to go this way and explore this part. And I think we need to explore around over here, I think. And then we're going to go back up here and see what this is all about. The Hand of D1. I don't know what the heck that is. But we're going to try that out. We saw those statues, or those stones earlier as well in other areas. So I'm curious to know what it's all about. Probably like a trial of some sort. If I had to guess. Fighting boring mobs. You know, I usually like fighting mobs in games, but in this game it just, it's not good. Like I said in the last episode. If I could just fight bosses in every battle, I'd be happy. In this game. Oh, lovely. I didn't mean to do that. Circle the bomb. Mobs, the problem with the mobs, like I said, uh, there's very few of them. There's very few variety, variety, and they just, they're just there to die, you know? If there's, when you do mobs in games, you have to make it where there's a lot of, a lot of different variety of enemies, you know? And that's what we come to expect from Final Fantasy. Like, you fight a lot of different like in 10, let me show you 10 for instance. You had like the dingoes, you had the like flying enemies, the flying birds, and then there was wasp. You had like the elementals, you had the hard shell enemies. And yeah, there was a lot of pallet swaps, of course. There's pa there pallet swaps in every game, you know, like in every JRPG. But in this, you got like plants bombs, wolves, and they all feel exactly the same. There's no difference in them, you know? Like, they don't feel any different than fighting... They, they all feel the same, is what I'm saying. And it's just like... They needed, this game needed a lot more variety in mobs. If, if every enemy we fight is different, then that would be great and everything, but it is, it's just not, not good. But anyway, we're going to see what this is all about. The Hand of D1. I'm going to save it first. But I can't really criticize the game much beyond the fact that the mobs are bad, really. Like, the game's good, obviously. It's just, just the mobs are, like, insanely boring. Alright, so I'm here in the Domecian Republic. I'm here at the Hand of D1. I don't know what this is all about. It's right here on the map. Uh, you have to get here, you have to go up to this teleporter over here. Uh, Letney's Cleft. Once you get to Letney's Cleft, you gotta go all the way down over here. And then take this path here, and you go around and you'll get to it. If you go to here... You won't be able to get down here because this is the upper part. Down here is the lower part of this area. So you got to keep that in mind. Because during the storyline you, you come here, right? And 
Yeah, you won't be able to get down here. So you got to advance the storyline until you unlock uh, the bottom portion, which is this this area down here. So just keep in mind you won't be able to get here as you're going here to, to the, for the storyline. I just wanted to point that out just so you guys know. Let's see what this is all about. I don't even know what this is. This is. This one's I, awake. I'm guessing we got to fight like a boss or something. Chronolifts. lifts. Chrono lifts are similar to the Arete stone. Yeah, I knew it was similar to that, but I didn't. How are they different, though? I guess we'll see. And that within them is hidden a virtual battlefield accessible by Clive and Clive alone. Each Chrono lift presents Clive. But time trial, oh great. Which you must combat continuous waves of deadly enemies. Equip only with the feet and abilities of a single icon. Oh crap. So you only get one icon in these. That's kind of bad. Okay, we'll try this out though and see how hard it is or whatever. If I can't beat it, I'll just come back later. Trial by wind. Within this ancient Minhir awaits a harrowing trial in which Clive must race to overcome a host of deadly foes, whirling the blessing of but a single icon, Garuda. Okay. So we gotta use Garuda in this one. Okay. It's fine with me. Trial by win. Stage 1. Trial by element. To complete the trial, Clive must defeat all enemies before time runs out, using only the predetermined feat and abilities of a single icon. Buying time. Time can be extended by performing certain battle techniques specified or specific yeah, specified before the start of each trial, okay. Yeah, so you get time by doing these. Triple wheel. So you gotta do that combo there that it shows. This is going to be pretty difficult, probably. Ah, come on, bro. Stupid organs. Oh, I thought that one was going to move closer, so I did it. These enemies are a bit too high level for me anyway, I think. Ah.
There we go. Stage one complete anyway. I don't think I'm gonna go much. I don't think I'll be able to go much farther though. I need to get higher level, I think. See so to the next stage. What else can you do? I guess you can just leave. Let's go to the next stage. I guess I'll try as much as I can. Ones I can't beat, I'll just do later. Job I win, st stage two, okay. Oh, come on. time. Can't see. My HDMI went out there. Wow, you have to fight more. There's no way I'm beating that right now. Need a stronger weapon. Yeah, I'll come back later and do that one. That one's a bit too hard. That's what she said. Yeah, screw that. Let's go back to the hideaway, see if there's anything new. And then we'll vent the storyline. I just wanted to try that to see what it was all about. Ooh, a new hunt. Fable, there's also a new reading table too. I'm not going to bother to read what he says, but you can read it if you want to. You can't swim. <laughs> Moogles can't swim. It's like white, white people can't jump. Ball swing, okay. The man in black. Alright, let's go do that one. I'm going to go to the reading table first, though. Okay, whenever I get stronger weapons and all that, I'll go back and do that other thing. Probably towards the end of the game, I'll do it. That way, I'm, I'll be over-leveled and do it. <laughs> got to buy some more potions and stuff. You rather be blind, you know. Starting over. Not, not something I'm not going to do, that's for sure. I'm not starting this game over, that's for damn sure. I cannot begin to thank you all for all you have done for Lost Wing. So in lay of any awkward... Remersaments. I shall be sending several barrels of next season's vi vintage. I can only hope they finally turn you off that f foamy swill you and yours so covet. Qu uh, 
Quentin. All right, let's go to Lost Wing. Speaking of Lost Wing, we have to go to Lost Wing. All right, Lost Wing's over here, right? Right here. Kind of creepy. Man in black. Who is it? Uber from Fun uh, from Sweet in. <laughs> Obviously not. I'm just messing around. Got to find the person first. clue where the person's at but that's why we're looking I don't think he'd be up here right but maybe hey there's a horse or Christian roll up there wow This place is actually kind of creepy. Uh, let's see if I see anybody from up here. Mm, not really. But my health plan doesn't include vision, so. see where's this men in black good thing it's not men in black but I'm straight from the movie take on Will Smith And whoever else is in the movie, I don't know. It's been so long since I watched Men in Black. Should if I remember. It said in Lost Wings, so it's got to be around this city somewhere, around this town somewhere. Be in here. Down in the cellar. Got what you need right down in the cellar. Reach through the cobwebs. This is kind of creepy as hell. Kind of glad he's not down here. He could be down this path though. Probably a good spot to put him over here. Yep, here we go. This is the hump, hump right up ahead.
All right, here we go. The next notorious mark. Holy Trumpetor. You can find him in Lost Swing. I'll show you where. You gotta go down in the cellar. And you gotta follow the path. The cellar passage. Right here. There's where he's at on the map. There's the whole map there. So let's travel to Lost Swing. Go down in the cellar. And then you've gotta get to him. Can't even see it's so much chaos. Ah, oh, he hit me three times, or what? Exact three times, sir. Oh, he's got a flame. I don't like fighting this dude because he's like, it's like chaos. I don't even know what's going on at the time. Oh crap, screwed that up. Ah. Oh, I was going to dodge, but... Oh crap, watch out! Got him. Yeah, I don't like fighting those things because they're like, there's just so much chaos going down. Scarletite and the Meteorite. For defeating that notorious mark. <laughs> All right, let's skip. Let's go. Um, the free cities of Canver, I guess. I'm not gonna be going too much longer though, but yeah. Now please go to the map. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to go to the map the whole time and I failed miserably. The free cities of Canberra. I don't know what this area is all about, but I guess we'll find out. Old Canberra, the free cities of Canberra. The warehouse district. Sounds like thunder.
Joe's hot, by the way. Again, I have to say it every time. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Hey, there's mid as well. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think he is? Yes. Allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most of the time? Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's Clab's uncle. My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned. But silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. find them and quickly what do you propose we split into two parties I will make for the merchants district while you look to those across the river mind keeping an eye on my brother not at all we find the villa and try the servants entrance understood and what of us Ned is she fit to sail the ship uh the Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Oh, he always will. He's a good, he's best boy. Both of you. You too. And y'all don't. Y'all don't fuck wh while y'all are with each other. Even fall. The it's like they. Clive uh, meets up with them later and they're they're banging each other. It's like, oh my god, what the fuck? Joshua, bro. That pussy was mine, bro. Anyway, I'm in <laughs> I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. This is like the weirdest in ending to an episode I've ever had. Yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.